guys to episode 11 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. I'm Aston Duck and uh, today we're doing something different. As you can see I'm in a creative world and uh, I've been designing uh, my house basically. And this is the design I've come up with. It uses sandstone and uh, it's quite different to what we've normally been doing in our builds. Uh, our other builds have been made out of wood. And uh, I've come up with this. It's got decent amounts of lighting hidden away. I was going to put some uh, other stuff around here but I'll show you around. Uh, I, I noticed in survival mode you don't have sandstone uh, steps so at the moment it's up above us is uh, just basically the stairs above us there around the edge they should be sandstone but they're not uh, this is the design I've come up with it looks quite nice it has the does the job I wanted it to do because two chests here are going to be for uh, equipment like pickaxes, axes etc go down here our bed, two more chests for armour with each setting, so maybe this chest will have leather and iron, and this chest will have gold and diamond. And yeah, pretty much that's all I want to show you guys. Uh, some pictures around, fill up the space, and some bookshelves. But now we're going to uh, flip into the Let's Play world, guys, and uh, we'll see you there. Welcome back, guys, to another part of this uh, thing again. Uh, we're back on the Let's Play, here now. You can see the tree farm's beginning to regrow again. We're probably going to need some of this later today. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, you can see up on the hill, I've begun to start our house. Uh, I did it on camera, but it went slightly wrong and uh, footage got corrupted. So I'm sorry about this, but the roof isn't on and there isn't any flooring or anything like that. It's just an outer wall at the moment. Uh, the mob farm, we're having slight alterations we're going to have to do to that because we're not going to do a mob sorter yet. So we're going to basically going to build an area where we can kill them for now. So here it is, there's still no roof yet, there's no wool flooring or anything like that. It's still just a basic area. I had to extend uh, the wall here because it wasn't quite fitting. Um, I did a bit more extending, as you can see the melon farm's now got more pathing around it. And in 0.7.3 uh, it's harder to get slabs. So you need more wood to get a slab, so I'll go inside, and this is all I've got at the moment. This is just my uh, junk chest at the moment, where I've been keeping my stuff. I've been working on all sorts of different projects at once lately. And uh, just about finished putting the stuff in. We're going to have to dig down here at some point, build all around. That chest is not going to be there, it's not staying. But yeah, here's the basic layout. That you can see here. We're going to have to change some of this because these are some wooden stairs here. These are in the right place, like that. That's in the right place because there's two chests there, and then you've got the drop there. Okay. But we're not going to be working on this today because we haven't got our materials and resources. Today, we're going to go over to the mob farm and uh, we're going to see if we can build ourselves an area around that. We're going to go and take our tools back. We've got the uh, wood and uh, some sandstone and some wood and our pickaxe. We're going to go over to the mob farm. We're going to build an area where we can kill the mobs. Uh, lately, I haven't been doing much of mining, so uh, still no lapis, still waiting on all this. And this was the temporary situation we've got going. Works just as well. Creepers and skeletons just kill each other. And uh, if you just stand away from it, and uh, it's pretty easy this. I may have just broken my iron sword. And as you can see, my armor's gone. I'm just going to keep bashing these in after I remember rightly I've got also got a sword here, yeah. I don't want to waste the arrows in my bow because I haven't got that many. There's plenty of mobs in the spawner and it seems to be working very efficiently. There is plenty in there. We're just going to build a little area where I can collect my stuff. Mm, not like that. <laughs> We're just going to put some up there, cut it off. Bring it back, and we'll go and try. And we'll go and get the crafting bench out of here. We'll sleep in here. We'll get it today again, and we'll just finish off this temporary area here. We need a fence panel post. We need six sticks. Six the the six sticks. We we'll just sleep like so. And uh, today, basically, I would have liked to have extended the area where mobs come out, but uh, this basic area I've got going at the moment seems to work quite well. And eventually, once I get a mob sorter built onto the side of this, it will work just as fat, just as well. Uh, at the moment, though, it's perfect for what I need. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And is that going to work? No. 
I just need to find a way where we can stop mobs getting in, or I'll probably just try and just kill them if they get any closer. I think that's probably what we'll do, actually. Because the mobs are getting stuck in there perfectly fine now at the moment. So there's nothing to fix there. And we're just going to try and get... Have I got a pick up an axe on me? Nope. We'll just fill that gap back in again. And get out of this hole. Collect the wood. And uh, we'll change your plans. We won't do this because... Uh, I think this system works quick enough and it's easy enough and it's simple enough, so we won't do that today. Instead, we will build ourselves a reed farm. Yep, because as you see in the house design, I had bookcases. And uh, bookcases need paper and books, and you need to get that from reeds. So, we'll build ourselves a reed farm. And uh, having a look around on the map, there isn't many places I've looked at building this but it's going to be fairly large because we're going to need lots of reeds on the map if we want to keep things like libraries being built and stuff like that but for now we've got this space here this open space here which we're going to fill with sand a layer of sand and i'm going to build it to about uh we're going to build it to here i think because this is a nice area just to round off so we'll build it this big we're going to remove our wheat farm because we no longer need this now we're going to eventually build ourselves an automated wheat farm which is now a fully functioning system, which I know works. So now that these chickens are here, they may get in the way, but for now we'll just place our couple of fences we've got on us. And uh, we'll go and get some sand. And we'll check how many reeds we've got first, because uh, we don't want to make this farm too big, because there wouldn't be a point to it. And uh, we'd also want to make sure it looks appealing as well. Uh, wrong chest. Uh, bottom chest. Nope. This chest, last one. We've got nine to start with. So we'll use these nine and we'll, need, we'll, get, we'll get ourselves some nine pieces of sand for now because we don't need any anything else really. And uh, the beach seems to have a lot of uneven sand areas so I've tried to flatten it out a bit. And I've been looking to uh, build like beach huts or something because they seem to interest me at the moment. And I'll maybe try and get a sheet behind there or something. Something that looks quite amusing. Plenty of sand on me already. I didn't even notice that. How much have I actually got? 73 we'll use this 73 that we've got and we'll make ourselves our new base as you can see the house looks quite nice from there it just kind of needs to load in all at once so as our thing's going to come through we're going to need to put water next to each one so we'll put one block here actually we'll work it against the wall first so that there is actually a block there which will have eight round it i think Something like this. So it's like that. Uh, they're dead simple, these reed farms. The next uh, source block just go in here. And then it just be like simple designing all the way around in a circle. We've got some nice coal there. We'll have to leave that open. So the next source block goes there. We'll cover the rest of it up that we want to cover up. We'll leave the gap because as you can see... These two areas here will be also missing, but it doesn't really matter about these. They're just going to look good in the end. The water source blocks are going to be there and there. We're going to get our buckets from the mob farm and uh, we'll fill them in with water. We'll get some reeds and we'll pl start a planting area for them. Tree farms coming along nicely, but these ones at the back aren't growing yet, so I'll have to take a couple more walls out here. Storage room, still got a couple of lighting areas in there. And uh, I've even looked, as you can see, there's a torch there and it's still no difference. Uh, furnaces, not too good at the moment. I'm trying to tend to avoid them at the moment because they seem to be crashing the game a lot. Uh, nothing I can do really until they bring out a bug fix for that because uh, it's quite a common one that they have on Minecraft Pocket Edition during an update. They seem to always seem to pick these up. Don't see why. I'm just going to kill these mobs again. Kill them all. There seems to be quite a lot of spawning in here. It's got good spawn rates. And uh, this would be decent for our mob spawning system because eventually when the human person or myself walks in like so, just collect the stuff, put that back you can hear them all floating around in there if you listen I'll just dig out a piece of the wall to show you what it's like in there I'll dig out this one, I'm hoping that the water isn't here nope but as you can see, look, there's a couple of skeletons, a couple of zombies on there, just walking around. But we'll get our buckets and we'll go back to our base. So we need, for now, we'll take all four buckets because we're not just leaving them over here. 
there's no point. This is just our temporary base, so I don't have to keep walking back when I, uh, I'm over here at the mob farm. It's quite loud. That seems to uh, just leave it for a bit. And uh, as you'll notice, mobs don't spawn when I'm up close to it. But when I'm quite far away working on my base, on my house, uh, mobs like to spawn in it. Um, I think it's about 30 blocks away you've got to be before a mob can spawn. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. I'd have to check that up for you guys. I'll let you know in a future update video when I, I know more information. But for now, we're just going to go back to the weed farm and I'm always walking straight past it. Uh, I've been noticing that I seem to forget to do things on camera, which is uh, slightly my fault, but nothing really I can do. I'll put one there again. Let's try and remember where the next one goes. I think it's here. Oh, yes, it's there. We'll place our sand around this one. Because uh, we'll leave that one because there's coal there. Because I'm down on coal again. So I'm going to have to do some shaft mining off camera. Uh, not really something I want you to do. But I'm going to have to do it again. I've already dug out 10 shafts. But now I'm going to have to dig out another 3 or 4 maybe. To get this going again. And th there you go. It's going to do a bit of an overlap there. But it's not too bad. It doesn't really bother me. But actually I'm considering just going to move this over one. And just clean, uh, create a linear style sort of pathing. Well, that's going to clash straight with the uh, the road there. So, we're going to have to think of a new plan to do with this. Because it's only going to be one, two, three, four wide. And um, each place needs three. We'll have to think about something. We'll probably just close this off here and just make it an extensive weed farm. But for now, we'll just play, get rid of that block again because we need it. Uh, delete some more of this. We might as well put all these water sources in as we go. Um, so this one needs to be here, like there, like that. This is um, the most efficient design I've seen for a reed farm. So basically you just place one reed there, there and there. And uh, I will mix it up a little bit because not just realising then that I've built this wrong because I forgot that reeds actually only grow next to water, not diagonally to it. So I have to place this one there to get the last one on. So I think the design that I've built with these two here is right. And if I put this one here, it'll do this one, this one, and this one. So obviously I'll have to check on that again. But we're going to try and find something else to do. Well, hopefully we'll wait for dark. There you go. Perfect timing for that. We're going to make ourselves a upgrade for an armor piece. We're going to get some armor. And we'll go out and spend the night fighting mobs and trying to gain some resources. This is our source uh, block system stuff at the moment. We haven't got much, we're quite limited, so we'll need eight for a chest piece. Where's that all going up there? Eight. Can I have some coal? Yep, yeah, put the coal back. And anything else valuable that I've got on me? No, I've got plenty of arrows, which is good. I've just got to check if I've got any more. But I think we'll be able to fight. We're going to make ourselves, actually, we'll make ourselves a brand new sword as well. Just treat ourselves, eh? We'll treat ourselves and make ourselves a brand new sword as well. Now we just need this. There's a, there's a crafting bench there as well. And I'm not thinking. This is really not clever. Perfect amount of sticks. One stick needed for that. And we need to go and make ourselves an iron chest piece, leggings, helmet or boots. We'll go for the chest piece because we've got eight. So there you go. Armour. Boom. Chest piece. Now we've got three pieces of armour on us already. I think last time with our leather armor we only had two. And we'll try not to damage this one. So if we do die and we do be slightly adventurous, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. So I want this, this, and that. And I'll put them on my thing list as well to tell me what, what I'm doing for our uh, arrows. So basically we're going to spend the night, guys, fighting mobs. And I'll just prove to you we are on hard difficulty. I'll prove it to you now. Look, see? Hardest difficulty there. And uh, we'll keep going. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll spend a night fighting mobs. So yeah, guys, uh, we're back in a minute.